Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for tomorrow, Sunday, the 19th. It's the 19th tomorrow. We are just going to see what comes up. This may or may not be for you. I need one of these. I'm going to use this deck right here. What do we got for the 19th? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. You know, there are no clocks. There really are no clocks. You know, in divine timing, there are not. So keep that in mind. Let's get one of these. Ooh, the lovers. This is the lovers. It says harmony, but this is the lovers card. So this is a, a divine connection. It's a perfect match. There's a spiritual connection here. Could be an unexpected, you know. Um, you didn't even see it coming. <laughs> that is great right there. That is, that is love. It's an unexpected love, it looks like to me. This is a card of uh, love heals. These two people, they get each other. This is like, I get you. I get you. I know you're the one. Eight of Cups. Look at this. This is somebody that is... He's climbing up some sort, of, sort of, some sort of stairway. This guy is cl climbing up a stairway. He's almost there. Somebody is almost there. And you look at where he's headed. He's headed towards this union. See, that, that, that last step is right here. He's headed right towards this union. So we have somebody that is getting close to their perfect match. Very, very close. Ooh, that's exactly what's going on here. Mm, there's been investment. This is the card of investment. The time has been invested. Patience has been needed, right? Patience has been needed. Six of coins, there's been lack of reciprocation. We had this in the full moon reading yesterday. There's been, there hasn't been equal give and take. Or somebody just hasn't been getting what they deserve. Or they haven't been giving to a situation. Things have been unharmonious with this six. Somebody may have rejected an offer. Ooh, Four of Wands. Now this is a card of happiness, commitment, love, marriage. Four of Cups reversed. This is actually better in reverse. This is somebody seizing an opportunity. Somebody, I think that we have somebody here that is, is deciding to go after something. Seriously. Perhaps build a new foundation with somebody. Fours are about foundations. These are both fours. This is seizing the opportunity for happiness, commitment, partnership. This is 11-11 right here. <laughs> it's like he's really close. We have something that he or she, somebody that is really, really close to coming into union with their 
soulmate. I mean, really close. I mean, this is beautiful. It's a perfect, perfect, perfect match. It's a deep spiritual connection. It's like we have somebody here that has is now ready to look forward. It's like the end of stagnation. It's like they're ready to seize this opportunity for love. It's a, it's so easy to see. I mean, it's easy to see that this is meant to be. Yeah, hey, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. It's easy to see that this is meant to be. <laughs> That's funny. Anyhow, ooh, yikes. Tower moment. Hmm. Well, somebody's had some sort of rude awakening. Something probably has fallen apart. Which has caused some sort of light to creep in, okay? Somebody's been seeing the light. Something has happened that has... It's almost like this is this is somebody ready to build a new foundation because this foundation is is crumbling. That's what's happening here. Somebody's old foundation is is crumbling, or it has crumbled. It's like this is a universe card. The universe has removed something from somebody's life so that they could build a new foundation so that they would build a new foundation this is a life change it is it's a major life change you never saw it coming you didn't you didn't never see this coming you know there was some stress from this breakdown some serious stress it was difficult very difficult but this all happened for a reason because now we have two people coming together that are absolutely spiritually connected. This is a spiritual connection, a deep connection. You want to see the cards? That might be nice, huh? Whew. Yeah, somebody hasn't been reciprocating in a partnership. They may have been indecisive. Two of Cups reversed. You know, they may have uh, felt a disconnection. There may have been a breakup. There may have been a separation. Because somebody didn't reciprocate, they didn't give to a situation, you know. It was, they just didn't put in enough effort. So I think that somebody, you know, may have had a breakup or they may have, you know, given up on a connection. Be I don't know why. Because somebody wasn't investing. They weren't, they weren't choosing. They weren't choosing. They weren't making the choice. It's like they were just sitting in the period of stagnation. They weren't, they weren't making a choice. Here somebody's been stuck. That's right here. Stuck. Clinging to control. Choosing to stay stuck. Not, see, that's what I said. Not choosing. It's like, it's time. It's time to pick. There's, there's, it is. And somebody has been just waiting and waiting and waiting for, I don't know what, waiting for something. Keeping themselves stuck in a, in a bad place. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune reversed, that's a bad place. Trying to control, trying to control the universe's plan, trying, seriously, trying to control destiny, trying to control fate. This is fate. This is fate. I'm telling you what. Somebody's been trying to control the plan. I don't know why. Justice reversed. This is um, unfairness. Not telling the truth. Not being honest. 
I think that somebody has been being dishonest with themselves about what their heart wants. They may have, you know, shut down a love connection, rejected a love connection, rejected a soulmate, rejected a person because of, I don't know, previous emotional disappointment, a previous breakdown, you know, previous disharmony in their life, a false foundation that left them in the cold in the past, whatever. Emotional disappointment has caused a person to stay stuck. But I feel like somebody's hard work and perseverance has paid off because, you know, this is somebody seizing the opportunity for love and happiness. No joke. I guess this one's it. Commitment. Marriage. Doesn't have to be marriage. Commitment. Marriage. This is faith. Moving forward with faith. This is the Taurus. This, this is moving forward with faith. This is believing, trusting, believing in what your inner guide has told you to do. Somebody is, has heard the message, they've received the message from above to move forward with faith into this commitment, whether it's marriage or not. It's a commitment. It's a deep spiritual connection. I think that we have somebody that is now ready. You know, it's now that they're, they're looking forward. I'm ready to move forward into this union, whatever it is. So be prepared. You probably don't see this coming. You probably don't see this coming. He's almost, he or she is almost there. They're almost at your door they're still a little fearful <laughs> that's the problem fear is a problem I'm afraid they are still a little bit fearful but that's over here oh boy oh there we go now we got the lovers twice two of coins reversed it's like they don't want to lose they don't want to lose the connection I feel, I feel as though somebody has been in an unrequited love situation, which has caused them to be fearful of the new connection. Whoever they were dealing with in the past probably was emotionally withdrawn. Anyhow, I feel as though there's, there's somebody else. This is somebody else. Okay, there is. It's somebody that you have unexpectedly fallen in love with that you didn't expect. And it's an absolute true soulmate connection. So, um, yeah, this is the unrequited love relationship that somebody is letting go of and they're moving into this. So somebody is, is, has found their true love. That's what I think this is. Their true partner. They may, there may be some financial issues or some legal problems that are causing somebody or were causing somebody to retreat. You know, they were causing this person to not accept because maybe they, they felt like they didn't, you know, things were too crazy. But this is a, this is a, the, when you fall in love, it's, it's, you know, none of, none of that other shit matters. 
So, I mean, if it's really love, if it's really love, none of that matters. So, anyway, I feel as though this is, this is, Lovers is a card of love heals. So I feel like we have somebody here that has been rejected. This is rejection from somebody. Somebody has rejected a love offer, and I think now they're accepting. Now they're accepting. Somebody was dealing with a person that was emotionally unavailable that kept them stuck. Kept them, like, stuck in a bad place. And it was like the universe came and broke that down removed it so that this perfect union could come together. Now this perfect union is coming together, so be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. This is a soulmate connection that you did not see coming. You did not see coming. This person looks nothing like the last one. Nothing. They don't even have anything in common. Completely different. If you have been single, you are probably not going to be single for much longer. If you are in a coupled relationship, you meet you 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 may have had to break free from somebody to get to this one, or you're gonna have to. You have to take action. You have to get to that place of self-love and self-worth and self-acceptance and gratitude to call in your perfect soulmate. If you stay in an unharmonious relationship just because it it's safe, you won't be, have emotional fulfillment. Anyhow, we're not going to get into that. If you've been single, you're not going to be single for much longer. This is a perfect match. It's a perfect, perfect, perfect match. Somebody is needing, I, mean, I hate to say this, I hate to give people advice like this, but, you know, this, this is like a split, a divorce. This is a split, a divorce, going your own way and meeting your perfect match. Some of you, that's what you're doing. This is for what? How many people are going to watch this reading? A lot. We all are at different stages. We're all a little bit different. we got different things going on. The main theme of this reading is there's a deep spiritual connection between two people. <laughs> this is both same card. Both the lover's card. This one's just named differently. These two people are meant to be. They are. It's a spiritual connection. It's a perfect match. And we have somebody here that is ready to seize this opportunity. And they may have rejected it in the past. And I think that they did reject it in the past because there was another contract, a false contract that they were in that they needed to let go of. But this contract is so much different. It's so much deeper. It's so much more spiritual. It's so much, there's so much more alignment to it. It just, it, it just can't be denied. It's, 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 I mean, there's attraction in every way. So anyway, get prepared, get prepared, because I feel as though somebody is about to move forward with faith. Right into a soulmate connection. This is a deep, 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 deep connection. And, I, and I'm going to reiterate this one more time. This person is nothing like you expected. They're nothing like the last one. They're nothing like the ones that you have been with. This person is different. They don't look like them. They don't act like them. It's just, it's the connection is deeper than the surface. It's nothing. It's not about the surface. I do see an attraction here. Yes, there is definitely an attraction, but it's, it's, it's much deeper than that. It's, it's so deep that it's like a Well, I'm not going to say it, but it's it's painful. It's painfully deep. 
it's painfully deep this 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 connection i think it's 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 not the it's not the one that uh, somebody was falsely clinging to somebody was clinging to a false sense of this is clinging to a false sense of security you know reluctant to move away from it it's not that person. The universe brought that, took that person out of your life for a reason because you were destined to be with this other person. And that's what this is. We have somebody here that is making a decision. <laughs> I think to open their heart, right, to, right, open their heart and commit to this soulmate. And they know who it is. They do know who it is. So be prepared. Be prepared. But, <laughs> I hate to say this, if this reading is not for every single person. Now keep in mind, with this Nine of Pentacles, you don't need somebody to complete you. I mean, if somebody doesn't come, do your work, invest in yourself, and the perfect one will come. You have to believe. You have to, this is believe, have faith, trust. Trust in divine timing. It's funny, I started this reading out with about divine timing. And I usually don't go into it that deep at the beginning of my readings. Once in a while, I mention it. Not much. Today, I mentioned it. I went into it deeper. It's about divine timing. I honestly feel like the time is now. This is these sixes we talked about. Sixes yesterday is time to get your life back on track. These are both upright. They're not reversed. This one is. We got three sixes again. Six, six, six. One of them's reversed. Though. So that's why I said this person is so close. They are so, so close to coming into union, it's like they're almost here. It's like they're almost here. It's almost time. They're almost ready. I'm ready. Let's get one of these. Somebody's building a new foundation. And it's happiness. It's extreme happiness. This is. It's like when you go through them doors, this is heaven through them, them that doorway. It is. You see all that light? You walk through them doors, it feels like heaven. It's a divine connection. I can't. It is what it is. That's exactly what it is. It is. Brought to you from above. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, we're, we're not. The couple cab now. We're not going to get those. We only want one. it right there. I have to go like this. <laughs> it's like I said, somebody's opening their heart. Somebody is opening their heart. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Joy and delight. Card meaning. You <laughs> card meaning. Card meaning. <laughs> Sorry. You do not need to suffer to grow. You can grow leaps and bounds through joy. True happiness comes from following the dictates of your soul. And like I said, somebody's inner guide has told them. Do what gives you joy. Celebrate and have fun. Stop and embrace life, yourself, and others. Say yes. Say yes. That's what it says. Take steps today to expand your joy. You don't need to do it all at once, but you do need to start. Your purpose in life is to experience joy. Allow joy and ecstasy to flow through you wildly and freely. Share your love. Happiness spreads to others like wildfire and can help heal the world. And I did not say love heals. Two people in love, they can help other people heal. This is love heals. It really is. These are both healers. Very spiritual connection. Very spiritual people.
The sacred traveler knows that it's not just about reaching the destination, it's about the joy of the journey. The traveler stops periodically to savor the simple pleasures of the voyage. If you don't follow your bliss now, when will you? <laughs> these, this, these cards always sum up my reading. If you've been waiting until circumstances are different, remember I said somebody's been waiting, I said I don't know why. I said somebody's been waiting. Anyhow. If you've been waiting until circumstances are different before you experience true happiness, you may have a long wait. It's simple. When you focus on the areas of your life that bring you joy, these areas real will prosper. One of the fastest paths to happiness is through sharing and giving. And somebody hasn't been. Okay, This is not sharing and giving. And the relationship is underneath it. And maybe that was the rude awakening. Somebody might have decided that they were going to retreat because you're not reciprocating. Anyhow, um, it's simple. When you focus on the areas of your life that bring you jo joy, these areas will prosper. One of the fastest paths to happiness is through sharing and giving. So give of your heart and follow your bliss. Joy is your spiritual birthright. Open your heart to joy, love, and ecstasy. Follow your bliss. Seize the opportunity. Have faith and trust in the plan, in the connection, in the love. So, I feel like we have somebody here that is... Leaving the emotional disappointment behind. And coming into union. <laughs> With their other half. Good luck. <laughs>